How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a motor in your DJI Tello. Um, it's a pretty simple process, but it looks pretty scary once you get inside. So I'm going to walk you guys through it and I'm going to show you everything you need to do it. So let's jump into this. So get your replacement motors. <clears throat> Next thing you're going to need is a screwdriver and a soldering iron. If you got all three of these, you can do this. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is get a workstation and we're going to want to break into our tello. So take your tello. Um, if the motor is still in there and it's just busted, it's going to be the same process. If you want, you can go ahead and take off all your prop guards, which will make the job a little bit easier. So to do that, just kind of, you can either pull from the side or just pull down. Pulling from the side is a little bit easier. It's going to be a little bit of a pain. So one. This is just gonna, so I, I kinda had one broke, so I kinda hot glued it on here at Drone Zone, so we're gonna leave that one on. We're gonna take these one off. All right, you can go ahead and leave the props on. They're not gonna really get in the way too much. If anything, it'll help keep it up. So on the bottom of the Tello, there are four screws. So there's gonna be one here, one here, and one here. So you just wanna take all those out with your uh, Phillips screwdriver. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. These tiny little black screws, you just want to put them somewhere you don't want to lose those. Also, take the battery out. And the screws on as well. I'm not sure that's what I'm talking about. There it goes. You can just pop that off, put that to the side, don't leave that either. With your finger, hold this in place. Flip this over, and we're just gonna also pop this off too, just so we can get a clear view of the wires down in this. It's pretty easy to pop off. So once you get all that done, flip it back over, and uh, this is where we're gonna see which motor we need to replace. So these motor wire, bleh, these motor wires, run along this arm right here, and they are held in with a little bit of glue. So with your screwdriver, screwdriver, just kind of pick that off. Um, you're not going to get it all off, but just do it enough so you can free the motors. So once you get that glue cleared, take, you might, you know what, might as well just take this little rubber piece that goes right here over the camera, and just, or not over the camera, it's a little electronical piece, but it's next to the camera. Go ahead and just move that and put that with your screws as well. So there's a heat sink right here. The only thing we want to do before we lift this up is undo the camera so we don't damage that and that's also held on with a little hot glue so we can just break that right off the easiest way to do that is just kind of lift up on this uh little tab right here and be very careful with these these are uh little ribbon cables they're very delicate so for the camera just you want to flip that up so once that's disconnected we can kind of lift this out of here to fully investigate the motors so just very gently lift the flight controller out of the frame. So once it's kind of slightly out of there, then we can mess with it. You'll see that the motor wires are ran under the flight controller. And pop out here. I'm actually going to uh, pause the video and put my phone flash on. Um, so the front motor wire it looks like it's going to be right here so we're going to have to remove this little uh it's like electrical or liquid electrical tape so just what you want to do is just take a little razor or an exacto knife and just peel that back it shouldn't be too hard so let's do that i got one right here let's work. all right guys so once you get the majority of that gunk off of there you can see your four motor wires right here so you got the white one and the black one for the back motor over here. You got the blue and the black for the front motor up here. So what we're gonna wanna do is desolder this first black wire and this blue wire. Iron and uh, just put some solder on it, that, and then just clean it off. So this shouldn't be too hard. We're just gonna wanna tap our iron onto the solder pad get it nice and warm and then just pull away with the wire do the same thing for the blue one heat it up and just pull away so once you have those two free 
we're gonna start to remove those wires. So let's do that with some tweezers. So let's see where they are at. So they're in this arm here. So what we can do is just kind of pull them on out like that. As you see, they're right there. So if they're still, oh, let me zoom out. Sorry about that. So in my case, the wires were pretty easy. You just pull them on out. And then if they're still attached up here, you can either just pull the motor out or I have to pull the wires out individually. So let me do that. So let me just pull them on out here. So I have removed my wires completely. So now it's time to install the new motor. So let's go grab one of these. So I believe we need to replace this as a, this is gonna be a clockwise motor. So clockwise is gonna be red and blue, or in their case, it was black and blue. But you can just look at the website where you buy the motors from. Most likely red and blue is clockwise and black and white is counter. So in my case, I have these little clips here. We can just snip those off. We're not going to need them. Let's just snip that off, and then you're left with the two wires. We're going to just uh, strip those and then tin them. Uh, you're just going to twist them off at the ends just to get the extra air out. And um, a good way to solder these motors is take your tello, stick it to the motor already, and then you got a little soldering station. So we're just going to pre-tin those. You just want to rub your iron up and down it and just run some solder on there. This does it just make the job a little bit easier. Let me start to solder. All right, so we got enough on there. We're gonna trim those down, make them nice and short. We don't want any extra wire. Okay, trimmed up. Now let's uh, start to feed these through the leg here. And you'll see inside of there, I don't know if you guys can see in the video, but in person you'll be able to see there's a little bit of a, a hole right here. And you just feed the wires through. So we're gonna do that all right so that was a little bit of a pain for the front motor I've only ever had to replace back motors so the front it seems like the hole was tiny so what I did was I took my little uh, like needle snips over here and I just trimmed the hole a little bit bigger so I could get both wires in without a headache uh, so with these wires what you want to do is just run those back along the arm the way they had them so what you do is just take I guess we can take the red wire first and just go ahead and that back. So, we're just going to run these wires back under the flight controller and keep it neat. So, the easiest way I find to do that is just kind of pick them up and just take the slack and kind of manipulate them back under there with some tweezers will definitely help. Try and follow the frame too, that'll definitely give them that structure back to follow. All right, so once they're back under there, let's solder them down. So let's do with, we want to start, when you're doing these micro solder pads, you want to start from the inside and work your way out. So we're going to start with the positive since the positive is on the inside. I'm going to put this little thing back up here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. I'll zoom in. Okay. So it's pretty hard to tell with all that gunk on it. So we're going to just run some solder back over this just to, Freshen it up. All right. <clears throat> so right there we got our positive and then we got our negative. So we're gonna take this red wire. Some tweezers will definitely be handy for this. Um, since it's so small, your fingers kind of block most of the shit. Take this wire and just zap it really quick. That's all you need. And then I have my dumbass got some solder on the heat shrink or the heat shield. Take this one and just do the same thing. All right, so your motor is now installed. Kind of tuck those wires safely. 
out of the way. So I'm just gonna kind of lay them on top there like that. So we got our new motor installed now. So now we're gonna wanna pull. All right, so that once you get that camera wire or the ribbon cable back on to the camera, we're going to take that rubber piece that we were talking about before and reinstall that. So just take that and place it right back over here. Put it in the wrong way. Take it one like that. All right. So once that's back, so once you get that rubber piece back in place, it's going to look like that. And now we can get to reinstalling our bottom plate. This one, this one right over here. I got two tellers opened up. I'm just doing a video on this one. So there's gonna be these little uh, notches on all the corners. You just wanna line them up with the frame. And then once they're kind of lined up, you can see it kind of snaps back into place to an extent, make sure all the other wires are still intact and in their place. So there you go, it's kind of in place. Take your four frame screws and we're just gonna start reinstalling these. All right, so the final step, just put this guy back on. Boom, fully place this motor down. Make sure it's fully squished down in there. Once you got that, let's reinstall the props and um, let's give it a test flight. All right guys, so we just got done replacing the motor and we're gonna see if it takes off. All right, all looks good. I don't know why it pitched to the right there. All right, so we're just gonna give a little bit of a test flight. 